I'm Daryl, and this is Hall Street in Wellington, in Newtown. Hi, I'm Daryl, and today I'm going to I'm going to demo these new street chargers. So in in Wellington, we've put in some street chargers so that people who live in neighborhoods where you can't charge in a garage or in a driveway can charge their cars just out on the street. And so um, each each charger has two spaces and um, you, you bring your own cable. So this is the kind of cable that my car uses. And um, so this is the first time I've ever done it, so we'll just see how it goes. So these chargers can be activated by a smartphone app or a little key tag. So I've got mine on my keys here. So I'll just open the charger by tagging the charger. And then, then that lights up this little button here. Press the button and it opens the charge connector. And then I get my cable. I can plug that in there. And then this other end of this cable has the adapter for my car. So the good thing about these street chargers is that no matter what kind of car you have, you can buy a cable that matches your car. So I've got an idea. Then I'll just open my car there. So there we go. So ideally you can just leave your car here for uh, as many hours as it takes to charge your car. So if you lived in the street, you could charge your car, you know, say you only drive 5Ks a day, you could just charge your car once a week by plugging the car in overnight and charging it. Or if you come here to work or um, there's a few facilities near here, school and hospital and a shopping street. So if you come here, you can plug in your car for a few hours and charge it. So this car charger runs at different speeds depending on the kind of charging that your car uses. So if you've got a car that uses, I think, three-phase charging, it could possibly charge your car in an hour and a half or two hours. But in my car, it it's uses single-phase charging. So it could potentially take around six hours to charge my car. So when you use this type of charger, uh, what you want to do is make sure that you have the lock setting. If your car has a cable lock that locks your cable into your car that stops people from unplugging your car you want to turn the, the lock on so in my car it's in the sand leaf there's a little um, switch setting where you can uh, choose the um, cable to stay locked into the car that way people can't unplug you and it stops people from stealing your cable um, and the other thing is the other end of the cable locks into the charger so if the if the lock setting fails on your car then people can't unplug your cable and walk away with your cable. Um, so that's a bit of a bonus. Um, they, if somebody has a, a, a tag for the charging network, they might be able to unlock your cable, but it might actually lock to your key, which could be good. I don't know if it works that way. And my understanding of the pricing model is that the uh, pricing is 30 cents per kilowatt hour, so that's New Zealand cents. So it's about the same as 20 American cents per kilowatt hour, and it doesn't charge you for time. And I don't think there's a limit to the amount of time you can charge for either.